All right, guys, another short video for you. Um, this is for the PSP Go, and only the PSP Go, and I state this because it's only for the PSP Go. So don't try this on anything else. It's not going to work on anything else. You have to be running your, you know, custom firmware and everything. So as you can see, I'm running that right now in the top left-hand corner here. 6.60 Lite ME 1.8 is my custom firmware, as you probably just seen in the last video that I uploaded. So uh, this is the firmware dumper. Uh, 570 is basically working towards a downgrade uh, for official firmware on a PSP Go in case you know you need to downgrade it and you want to do some fun shit. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to download this file right here. It's the release firmware dumper for 570 version 2. Once you download that, open that up. The link will be on my website, Software Reborn, on the pages underneath uh, Homebrew application so you're gonna go there go to PSP scroll down the homebrew click on that and it'll probably be the first one up there because it's the most recent you're gonna see a release folder and you're gonna open that up and see the dumper folder and you're gonna see a fixed ZIP and a readme text let's go to the dumper here and you're gonna see the kernel bridge the IPL loader you know and then the eboot so there's the dumper there I'm gonna open this up and see what the hell's in here. Okay, that's simple enough. Anywho, so let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. Bum ba bum 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 bum. Copy the dumper folder to ms zero PSP game or ef get the game. Run the firmware dumper on the XMB. Select dump option. Okay, seems simple enough. All right. You can also review that readme text document if you feel unconfident. But so inside the dumper folder, you're gonna see the kernel bridge.prx, the IPL underscore loader.prx, and the eboot.pbp. What we're gonna do now is I'm simply just gonna go into USB mode really quick. Do do do, do this stupid shit. <clears throat> here I'm gonna put this on the internal storage of my PSP go so I'm gonna open up the PSP and the game folder and simply all I'm gonna do is take the dumper folder drag and drop that over here like so and just double click on that and open it up and make sure everything copied over correctly exit that now we can exit USB mode so that you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna reset the VSH really quick bum, bum. I'm setting the VSH now and I'm gonna exit this let this boot back up. So let me just drag this over really quick like that. Enlarge it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Put this back in like so. And now what you're going to do is simply go over to the system storage on the game here. Or wherever you put it. And uh, you're going to see the FW dumper for 5.7.0 version 2. Now it may say 5.7.0. But you are not going to need to be on 5.7.0 purpose of dumping the firmware. So start it up. Classy game boot. Let me unplug this real quick. Because for some reason Remote Joy Light has this bug where it's like if it goes through some stupid shit and it's like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Aha! Alright, I was right. This program requires firmware 5.70. Never mind. I lied. Oh, shut the fuck up and just reboot already. This isn't gonna respond. This is fucking amazing. I'm just gonna fucking open this shit up now. You work. Apparently not. Anyways. So apparently you need to be on 570 firmware. I lied. So, you're on 570 to dump the firmware I guess so you can fucking do all that fun shit but anyways this is very unhelpful I hate when my computer does this you just exit this shit now thank you close die cancel fuck you burn in hell I'm over here enlarge I'll fucking plug you in now and you need work or not that works too anyways <clears throat> So, there you go. There's the firmware dumper. 
we have realized that we need to be on 570. I have been proven wrong. It happens. So, anyways, that's how you install it on your PSP, whether it be on the memory stick or not. And the download link will be in my website, where I said it would be, under the homebrew applications. So, yeah. Anyways, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will have more videos coming your way. So check out my website, softwarereborn.com. Everything you want to possibly download can probably be found there. So, uh, and that goes for everything, you know, stuff for PC and Xbox and PS3 and things like that. So follow me on Twitter, and I'll have more videos coming your way soon. So remember, 570 official firmware, and it'll dump the firmware, and you can go from there.